obtainable through a trade or something like that. Richard says, get rid of Vivek. <laughs> I mean, maybe that maybe that's the problem. Maybe that'll work. I still think firing. I don't um, understand Luke why Walton that's his problem. Move. I mean, I I don't understand why them losing these games is his issue. Well, he's the one that hires, uh, you know, the top of the organization. So everything starts at the top and yeah. has a trickle down effect. But I, I don't buy it being really his fault. I mean, everyone. You know, they say, oh, we've had all these problems since he's been owner. Yes, that's true. We haven't made the playoffs since he's owned the team. That is very, very true. But the problems didn't start with him. We had the Maloofs before that. The Maloofs were garbage, man. Like, I know we had some good seasons with them, but once yeah. they got in debt and they had issues, they couldn't pay players, they they wanted to cut salary and all that stuff. Like, it it's not Rana Dive's fault, in my opinion. I, I think no. that... Definitely. There were some instances where he meddled when they were drafting players. I remember there was an instance where uh, who would they take from Michigan? Stauskas. I saw a video. They're in the draft room, and he's just like, Stauskas, 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 Stauskas. They took Stauskas because that's who he wanted. I feel like he's learned his lesson at this point, and he's kind of – I hired Monty, and personally, if I was a guy like Monty – who I think has a great resume, could get a lot of jobs in the NBA. You're going in saying, this is my team and I'm the decision maker. It's either my way or the highway. And yes, there are some owner level decisions. And let's get this right. Like Vivek is not the owner. He is the managing partner for the ownership group. Yeah. He is not the sole owner of this team. But... I don't think it's his fault now. I really don't. I think he's, I think he's I done think well. <laughs> his daughter is hella fine. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. Um, true, but uh, yeah, I honestly think that this is a coaching issue. This is a player issue. I don't see this as a front office or an ownership issue at this point. No, I, I agree with that. Please answer. Why does it seem like the Kings try to lose in the second <laughs> half? That's a really good question. I, I don't know the answer to that. I really don't. Uh, but we've seen them come out slow in the first quarter, too. So it's not just the second the second half, necessarily. They've probably had more bad second halves than first half. <laughs> but they, they like to do both. Jonathan says, Buddy's IQ is bringing this team down. Yeah, <laughs> I, maybe. Um, there's Okay, so there's different sure types of I, players. Yeah. There's different types of players, and you expect or you need different things from different types of players. Buddy Heald is a specialist. I know he's not paid like a specialist. He's paid better than a specialist. Mm -hmm. But I, the way I look at it is, is like football. I know basketball is a lot harder because you only have five guys and those guys have to play offense and defense and they all have to play together. Versus in football, your guys are much more specialized. This guy's good at blocking, he's on my line, or he's a tight end, right? Versus in basketball, you need to be able to do everything. So it's harder to hide these guys with specialists. But it's glaring effects in football. So you have a guy that can't catch the ball. Why would you put him as a wide receiver, right? Mm -hmm. He's not. He's going to play another position. Buddy Heald is good. Back if he yeah, yeah. Buddy Heald is good at shooting the three ball. He needs to be put in a position where he can thrive and just do that. They don't need to ask too much of him because when they do, that's when he makes these mistakes. He has these mental lapses. He has this, these, like you say, IQ driving the team down. The only reason that is is because I feel like Buddy Heald is put in a position to fail. Well, I don't know if he's put in a position to fail necessarily. I mean, anytime your coach tells you, that they love it when you take 17 threes in a game. I don't, that to me isn't a guy being a, put in a position to fail. Yeah. And, and I personally, I liked 
how he when he got in there tonight right from the get go, he went to the basket. He tra- he got two point field goal attempts as opposed to three point field goal attempts. And I think if he could do that a little bit more, look mm-hmm. to try to get himself the easiest possible shot he can get right from the beginning. Yep. Get a little bit of momentum. Um, you know, then I'm okay with him taking four or five threes in a row, something like that, try, trying to get himself in rhythm. 17 threes to me is too much. I, I wouldn't like to see him do that. But if he could be 10 to 12, which sounds ridiculous to say that that's like a smaller amount of threes per game, but I think that he would be